to another video. In this video we will have a look at visualization features of Open Rap Grid, namely the Bertin plots. So let's go to the website again and I will start at the documentation website for Open Rap Grid and I will have a look at features and scroll down to the visualization features and there we have two visualization features currently Bertrand displays and biplots Bertrand displays, I will have a click on it is a way to visualize values in a way that it's more intuitive or more appealing and easier to understand and see patterns and structures in data it was invented by a fr French cartographer called Jacques Bertin, so it's a Bertin display, and he did a lot with this kind of visualization. So how do we do that? Let's go back to our studio, or let's open our studio, and as always we have to type li library open rep grid in order to load the package if we want to work with it. So the next step is to do a Bertin plot of it. Here is the code. It's, the function is just called Bertin. As we've seen in another video, there are a couple of data sets Open RepGrid already has or comes along with, and one of them is called Böker, the Böker data set, which looks like, like this. Let's make it a bit bigger here. Now, it's hard to see any patterns here. Let's do the following and let's visualize it using a baton plot or baton display. So I call the function baton and I will put the data Böcker in it. I will call it pressing run and here on the right side on the tab plots I find the baton plot. Now let's see what can we change. For example, I would like to change the color. How can we do that? We look at the help file for uh, the button by pressing F1 if you're on Windows or function F1, so the well F1 if you're on Mac OS, and the according help file will open down here. Here we see all the arguments we can change under arguments. So we have X, which is the rep grid object, which is our data, the colors the show values, whether or not scores are shown, and we may play around with it. So I want to change the colors. I want to have white and dark red, let's say, and in the next step I want to get rid of the values to just see the pattern. So I will copy this line and I will say colors, and the presetting the default is white black. I'll copy that. You also can see this up here. This is the default, colors are white and black, and I will change this to dark red. Okay, let's execute it and see how this has changed. Now, before it was black, now we have another color. The rest remains the same. Now let's get rid of the values. I don't want the values inside, so there's another argument, but let's you know, keep it in black and white called show values. If you type show and you press tab, you already see the arguments that are available. So show values, here it says whether scores are shown in the button display and I will say false. I don't want them to be shown. And again I press run and I will see only the patterns. They are not sorted. The whole button display is not sorted or not ordered. Now it's just random, we can see that Irene has many black values, for example, or the ideal self has many white values and black values, so extreme values. But still, I forgot to say this, of course, a, a white value refers to the left pole, so white is the low number, let's go back, so it's a 1, and a dark value, a value of 6, is a dark color, the darkest, so this ranges from 1 to 6. So now there's also a feature which is called Bertin cluster, which is the same, but we well we get a Bertin display, but along we apply a cluster algorithm to order the rows or the columns. 
one of them or both, depends. So let's execute this and see what happens. Now we see, oh that's over plotting, we need to clear the plot before we do that. I will clear that and now again I will plot. So now we see that there is a pattern. We see though the columns are similar. Similar columns are assigned to what well, are, um, are next to each other. So this is basically cluster analysis, and you will may find will find another video on cluster analysis and grids. And joined with the baton display. Let's see what we can do with this one. What features do we have? What arguments? Mm. We can again, for example, use the show values function uh, argument and set it to false. So now the values have disappeared. We can also change the colors if we like, change it to dark red. And we might may change other things. I will copy the line again and have a look at the uh, the help file again pressing F1 and here you see the arguments so quite a lot we can change the distance method for the clustering we can change the cluster method so we can use ward single linkage clustering complete linkage and so on just for the sake of it I will do that to show you how that works so let's apply a different cluster method if we look up here we see that the default is ward clustering for the rows and the columns. The first one is for the ro rows and the second one for the columns. So let's apply different clustering. Let's for example uh, use single linkage for the rows and also single linkage for the columns and see, look at the results. You see that it has changed. The order is quite different or slightly different now. Well this, the choice depends on what you want to do. So this is basically one way to visualize the data of a repertory grid using a button display.